Hello everybody and welcome to my 66th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to continue going into class modules and show you how you can use the property let and get methods. Uh, so quite often when you're working with classes you don't actually want people just to be able to change these variables kind of at a whim from their code so you can protect them by putting private up here instead of the public and then when we come in here and we try and run this now it's going to say it's not found and if we type in user one and then put a dot it's not going to find any properties anymore like it was before uh, and that is because we put them to private so we can only access these from in here uh, so what we actually want to put in now is some methods that we can call that will give us uh, the variables at the top uh, and we call these property let and property get so we put public and then property and then get and then we want username and let's call it let's rename these variables up here so let's call this uh, a username and a user balance. So you get username and then put as string. So it's going to return a string. And then we just want to put username equals a username. And so let's copy this. And we're going to change it slightly for let uh, because we need to pass it a variable. So rather than having it return a type, we put username and then we put byval and then do, 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 uh, name our string and then a username equals name. And now when we go into our module and we put user one and then dot username uh, and we can set it equals to a value and we can also reference that out on the screen. So message box and if we press play and it will say map. And if you use the same name, then you can do either or. Uh, the same way as you would have a variable, if you put equals, it will uh, set it, assign a value to it. If you don't, then it will take the value. Uh, so that's the opposite of using the get and the let uh, functions. You might be thinking, well, why have I done this? This hasn't actually changed how I'm using it. Well, what we can actually do is we can put a little bit of kind of sanitation in here. So we can... In this one, we can put uh, we can test whether or not the name is long enough. So, if length name is less than four, then message box the name assigned is too short, and then else. I don't know why it's messing up my indentations. And then end if. And so now, if we try and put, say, just uh, as a name, press play, and it's going to say the name of Shine is too so short, and then it's not actually going to store the name. Uh, so that's the usefulness of the property get and let methods. Uh, they just let you sanitize the user input a little bit. Uh, and you can also, you can start putting any other code in here. So you can start recording whenever it's referenced, things like that. Um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up uh, sub procedures. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.